seen the TED Talk by Jill Bolte Taylor? Yes. Yeah. She is the, I think she's a neuroscientist who studies the brain. And she had a stroke. And she had a stroke on the left side of her brain. And the TED Talk is totally amazing. I reference it on my sheet so that you can look it up. And if anybody wants the agenda in my email, just let me know that because then you can just click on it. You don't have to write all those little things or just look her up something like that. But she talks about when the, the left side of the brain was damaged, when she was having the stroke, she knew as a brain scientist, she said, oh my God, I'm having a stroke. And then she was like, how cool is this? <laughs> I study the brain. But then it got worse, so it wasn't that cool. <laughs> but she realized, as her left side was damaged, that her right side, all of a sudden she was kind of in the here and now. She says, it felt so good. She kept using the word nirvana, you know. But then she said, oh, I have to get help. Which means she had to figure out how to use her left brain. And she... It was, it was like she could not figure out how to do it. It took her an hour and a half to dial a phone number. She was going through cards and she actually had to use, which is more of a right brain skill, matching shapes of numbers to what was on a card and what was on the phone in order to be able to dial the phone. Now the good news is she did a TED talk. It's eight years later and she is fine and has learned so much and contributed a lot to our study of the brain. But her, her TED Talk, if you see it, is really will give you some insight to what it's like to totally be in the right side of the brain and not the left side of the brain. So the left side of the brain is our analytical, logical, detailed, scientific. Gosh, we need all those things, you know? That's very, very important. The right side of the brain is the creative, imaginative, big picture thinking. You know, those who invent things and empathy is also a big part of the right side of the brain. My husband is a left side of the brain guy too, and I always claim he has no empathy at all. He does not understand empathy. That I, I go to the movies or I even watch the news and I will cry because I am, I am so empathetic that I am that person who is having that experience. And he keeps saying, that's a movie. I said, but that happened to somebody. You know, so I, I probably am on the far end of the spectrum of that. But um, it it's, sometimes is a problem. But left brain people, they look at the world a little differently. Um, Jeannie Robertson, who is a, a big speaker in the National Speakers Association, she has a radio show down in Alabama. She has a husband who his nickname is Left Brain. You heard? Yeah, we yes. have heard that yeah. routine. <laughs> well, Left Brain, you probably heard this story. Um, and, and you have to listen to Jeannie tell it. I'm just going to give you a little portion. But Jeannie says, I have to send Left Brain to the grocery store. And he was in a hurry because he had to go play badminton. So she said, I had to bake this cake, and it was really important. I had these certain ingredients, and so he said, okay, just give me the list. Make it clear. So she wrote out the list. She thought, well, I'm going to help him. So she just, number one, butter. Number two, eggs. Number three, flour. Number four, sugar. Gave the lift to left brain. She said, it shouldn't take you long at all. You can go through the express lane. So left brain goes to the store, goes, says one butter, gets a pound of butter. Two eggs gets two dozen eggs. Three flour. You know what's coming. What's three pound bag of flour, three of them, nine pounds of flour. Four, five pound bag of sugar. Four times five is 20. Left brain could barely get through anything, never mind the express lane, and came back so frustrated. And she was like, God, I forgot, it's left brain. No? And so there are ways that we look at the world differently. And as speakers, we need to understand that people are going to perceive us differently and that we have to think about those things in advance. And sometimes it really is a surprise. 